Yeah, g'day guys, welcome to another episode of Shanky Garage. My name is Sam. Today's episode is going to be part two of the underbody repairs and painting the underside with the KBS product. So yeah, we'll jump straight into the video and hope you enjoy. Cheers guys. Okay, so we're just going to focus on the rear cab mounts on the cab. So I've just lifted this up just with the shed and the come along and I've just got it supported with some uh, jack stands and some blocks. So yeah, I've just kept the weight on that come along just in case it you know falls off the jacks, it's not gonna go anywhere because the weight's still on there. So yeah, it's just to you know make this more accessible, lift it off the ground, so yeah, it's a lot easier to, to work on. So I've just grinded this section back, you can see some spot welds there, so I'll have to drill them spot welds out and then I can you know cut this piece out and then look at uh, underneath there and try and repair what's underneath and then once I replace the underneath I can put uh, make another piece to, to fit back in here because it's uh, yeah dual skin so yeah the other side's um, not as bad but I'm thinking I'm probably still gonna have to do the same sort of repair so Okay, so that piece has been cut out and I've just cleaned it up with a wire wheel. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to cut this piece out there and then the same on this side as well. And then I'll be able to put a 90 degree and then that will then rest up uh, against here and then I can weld that piece in on the inside as well as butt join it uh, along here like that so I think that should work out pretty well and then I've still got I've still got these rusted bits and you can sort of still kind of tell where where that piece sat in so I should be able to get the the holes lined up pretty well so we'll see how that goes Okay, she's all cleaned up and I've just made up these uh, plates to weld in so what I'll do is I'll butt weld around around there and then there's a 90 degree, um, you can see there's a 90 degree there that'll uh, weld on the inside. So yeah, I've made up uh, yeah, both of them plates and then I've got the little um, cutout for the uh, where the bolt goes through. So yeah, I'll weld them in and um, it should hopefully turn out pretty good. Okay, so that piece is all welded in and I've just grinded all back so she's nice and flush so that turned out pretty good. I've just put some uh, welds on the inside here as well so that that's welded in, in there as well if you can see that. So yeah, should be nice and strong now. So I just got to make up a plate that's going to fit in here now and then I can weld that in. Okay, so I've just made up this uh, plate here to go in there. So that actually, yeah, fits in there pretty well now. But got the uh, holes in there for the spot welds and also the hole in there for the bolt to go through for the cab mount. So just, I've made, I made that up by, I made up this um, template out of cardboard. So I just put, put a bit of cardboard in there and traced, traced around it and then you know, bent that kind of into shape and then that way when you flatten it out you can transfer it onto a bit of steel and then trace around the steel and then cut it cut it out so yeah that actually worked out pretty well so what i'll do is i'll uh, basically coat that with the zinc primer in here and also the back side of this and then i'll probably put a bit of uh sikaflex in there to seal up in there and then basically once all that's dry i can um weld that in place
Okay, so that's all welded in and I've just grinded it all back. So yeah, pretty happy with how that's turned out. So yeah, that um, that piece there follows the, the cab, which is which is good. And yeah, it's all flush and protruding from, from this part. So uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. So this other side here, I've just cut out um, I've just cut out that piece there so as you can see the actual inner part is still really good so I won't have to replace any of that I'll just have to replace yeah this this rusted outer piece so that's um, a hell of a lot easier so I've just made up a, a plate to weld in there I just need to yeah still um, trim it to size a little bit but yeah so that's um, that's gonna be a hell of a lot easier this one okay so both cab mounts are now now completed so yeah come out pretty good so i just put an etch primer over the top there just to protect it until i kbs it so yeah officially the cab mounts are done okay so i've just cut out another bit of rust there and then made this uh, plate to go in there so uh, there's a bit of like a curves in here and then it's kind of straight up the top here but what I've found is if you kind of get a rough shape and then once you sort of tack tack the corner and you can kind of stitch it the way all the way around and you know wherever it's flush then you put a tack and then you can work your way around and then you know the final you know last half of it you can kind of hit it with a hammer and, and tap it into into shape so then it all lines up so that worked out pretty good I've just done another one down this corner as well but you can't see that so that ended up working out pretty good as well the reason why I'm just cutting out these little patches and repairing them is because I don't really want to replace the whole inner seal panels on both sides so basically the outer seal panels have been done before previously to when I've owned it because yeah when I cut out this piece I could see that it was yeah pretty much brand new steel on on this outer seal panel so yeah i don't want to have to cut these outer seal panels off if i don't need to so that's sort of why i'm gonna you know try and do these patch repairs on these seal panels so okay so that's all welded in and grinded back and i've just put some etch primer over the top so yeah you can still see it but yeah all in all not too bad it's got to be it's got to be better than the rust that was there anyway so I just got this piece here to cut out now so I've just sort of marked that out roughly how I'm going to cut that and then yeah, I'll be able to make up a new bit and weld in there. Righto so cut that out, made up a new piece, tacked it in so you can pretty much go around and weld that in and grind it back. Okay so that's all welded in and I've just covered it with some etch primer again. So yeah that's another, another patch job done there. Okay, so this will be the last part of the sill panels I've got to repair, which is going to be the worst part. So I've just grinded all this back and there was a whole heap of bog in here. Uh, looks like this has been repaired in the past as well. But basically what I'm going to do is cut this piece out, uh, take the spot welds out of here as well, and then that'll give me access to the back the back of here so you can see the rust has sort of come up up into this part here so what I'll need to do is get behind there and cut out any rust behind there as well so yeah the only real way of being able to do that is um is to get access by cutting cutting this piece out so I've just cut this piece out and cleaned it up slightly so this piece here that's your inner seal panel that goes all the way all the way uh, through to the back so I've actually just cut this piece out already so you can see it on the other side so I've just cut that piece out um, so what I'll do is I'll do it in sections so that'll be one section and I've kind of marked roughly how I'm going to cut out these other sections so yeah basically I'll do it in three sections I reckon otherwise it's going to be too um, kind of too awkward to, to make up one piece to sit in there so yeah I might do it in sections there Okay, so I've just welded piece number one in there. I've just got piece number two cut out and sitting in there. So I'm ready to tack that piece in and then the final piece will be that one up there. Okay, so I've just made up the final piece to go into there. Just put a bit of zinc primer on that face there 
and the same on this side of the plate. So basically I can weld that in, weld in the spot welds as well, and that'll be the final piece to, to this. So, okay, so that piece is welded in and I've just coated that with the zinc primer. I haven't bothered grinding them welds all the way, so it's not exactly pretty, but um, you'll never see that anyway once, once this piece goes on. So the other side, I've just etched prime that. So it's come up not too bad. You can still see, you know, a few little welds and stuff in there, but I guess all in all turned out pretty good considering it's a pretty tight area to try and get in and, and weld and grind. So yeah, she's, um, at least it's solid anyway, better than, better than rust. So I've just got this piece to weld in as well. So it's probably seen better days. So I'm gonna probably um, try and fix this up a little bit as well. And then yeah, I can basically weld that piece back in. Okay, so we've just made up this piece, just used the existing piece and just sort of cut and shut a couple of extra pieces onto it. So it looked like it'd been repaired before, um, but someone had pretty much just welded. So there was, it didn't come out as far, but it was cut off here. And someone had just welded basically along there straight to the cab. And then they'd welded another piece over the top and left the old piece uh, on there still. So it was just pretty dodgy repair. So I've just cut and shut it and made it as it should be now. Um, I've just primed the back of it because once I weld this in, won't be able to get to the back. And I've just drilled out the holes for all the spot welds. So just sits, sits in there pretty well. So I'll be able to weld that piece in now. <clears throat> okay, so just got a couple of clamps holding that piece in. So pretty happy with how that's lined up. So go around and tack it in. Okay, so that piece is all welded in. I've just used some etch primer to go over it as well. So yeah, pretty happy with how that turned out. So basically all the underside, I've wire wheeled it back and I've also used a Scotch Bright uh, just to scrub, scrub the whole underside. So yeah, she's pretty much um, ready to paint. So what I'll do is I'll start this three-step process with the KBS. So basically, this is the AquaClean. So use one part AquaClean, five parts water. So I'll use this spray bottle, put it in the spray bottle, and then I'll spray it on, and then I'll use a Scotch Bright to basically give it a good scrub. Okay, so that's all scrubbed up with the AquaClean. I've washed it off with a hose and used the air compressor and blown all the uh, water off it to leave a dry surface. So the next step will be the rust blast. So this comes in a bottle with a sprayer. So basically it just says to spray this on and leave it for about 30 minutes and keep spraying it. Don't let, the, don't let it go dry. And then once it's about 30 minutes is up, then you wash it off with the hose again. Okay, so she's all cleaned up. I've masked it all up and I've got a drop sheet down. I've got the new spray gun. So this is the Devulbus GPI. Um, so this was recommended from a YouTube channel I've been watching that does um, spray painting. And yeah, they recommend uh, this Devulbus GPI as like an all-rounder gun. So this will do, yeah, primer, base coat, clear, basically everything. So yeah, we'll try this one out, see how it goes. Um, got the rust seal and the thinners, so I'll mix that up and test out the spray gun. Okay, so just mixed up the paint and put in the gun. So I used 10% with thinners as well, just to thin it down for the gun. So I'm just got the compressor set to 20 PSI. Um, so yeah, we'll give it a go. Okay, so that is the first coat. 
I'll let it dry for a couple of hours and then I will put the second coat on. But you can see it's a little bit glossy, but once it dries, it should go into a satin. So there's a few runs in here as well. Probably went a little bit too crazy with the paint. I was just trying to use up what I had in the gun, but yeah, I probably put on a little bit too much in some areas and she's uh, got some runs. But anyway, I'm no spray painter, so yeah, at least it's got a good coating and never gonna see it underneath anyway, so she'll be all good. So I've just applied the second coat. It's still a little bit glossy, but that gloss should fade once it dries a little bit further. So yeah, really happy with the KBS product. Easy to apply, it's got a good coating. So yeah, definitely recommend the KBS. A few little runs, but that's yeah, obviously that's my fault. So yeah, the underside's pretty much done now. So definitely took a lot longer than what I was expecting. There was a lot of cutting, shutting, grinding to get it all prepped, but it was definitely worth it. So I'm pretty happy with that, that coating. And there's no rust in the underside at all now. So this is all the all the steel that I've cut out of it. Just, yeah, just all, um, all rust there. So yeah, definitely took a long time to get that done. But you know, that's another one to tick off the list. Okay, so that's it for today's video, guys. Pretty stoked with the underside and how that's turned out with the KBS product. So if you did get something out of that video, hit that like and subscribe button. So the next video, I'm going to strip back the chassis and then paint it with the KBS. And then I've got a heap of parts arrived from the Castle Main Rod Shop that I need to fit up as well once the chassis is painted. So yeah, got definitely a lot to do. So there will be a lot of content coming out in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, we'll leave it with that. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.